does will actually exist uh, well that, that's that that was going to be my next that was going to be my next thing is, is is free will right are we just uh, a program going through the motions uh, believing that we have free will and believing that we're making these random choices when in fact it's just part of the program yes yes you know uh what, what do you think reeves I've, I've the free will um, aspect of things has always fascinated me. I've always been fascinated. I, I put it down to something like uh, f- uh, like a character in, uh, for example, like a g- computer game like GTA Five or something, where you have this huge open sandbox, and they are there within this kind of sandbox reality where they're walking around and doing what they're meant to be doing. And to them, they're kind of like everything they're doing is is their own choice. And then all of a sudden, you think, well, hang on, they're just uh, a line of code. They're just code, and right. and to, to that, it's it's coded within the code to give them the illusion of free choice. And it's like, is that us? Is, mm-hmm. is that what we are in a on a more organic sense? Are we the kind of same thing? Are we? Do we have all these, um, uh, should we say, future events that are all very similar, but all very slightly different? And each each path is a path that we branch off on through a a certain way of us we can do something but if we do it a certain way we, we branch off in a certain way would we stay on the same path or would we go on to another path it's 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 mind-boggling but it's also incredibly fascinating because if you think about it and we don't if we don't have any free will uh then basically it's kind of we're just on this road and and everything that we're that we're doing is predestined it's predetermined and even though we believe that we have control over our destiny and our personal fate we don't because it's already written down it's already to the road en- that we encoded follow. into us but yeah. here's here's the thing though so if if you, if everything is already predetermined if your life is already set and you're just going through the motions then why fucking bother why have a life well that that, that exactly what <laughs> you would think well why even bother just go to bed and just end it all uh, be, be, then, well, then no, again, no, not necessarily it, that, but I want, what I mean yeah, is that that's could be that that's kind of like a. Well, I suppose if you're if you're seriously depressed, that's how you most probably look at things. Is what's the point? I mean, my life is just is this endless treadmill of nothing, and, and uh-huh. what's the point? And well, even, and even if you're not depressed, like, that's that's a valid thought, though. Like, what's the point? Like why why are we going through this right? If if it's all predetermined and you have no free will, then really, the, what's the point? Just well, uh, I I kind of try to look at things uh, in the sense that that we have that that there are on this. I mean, it's going to sound a bit woo woo, I suppose, but on the planet there are certain areas of the planet that are um, that that are affected by strangeness more so than other areas whether it's got anything to do with the magnetic fields of the mm. of, of the planet or the ley lines or, or the way that things are you know the way that the planet was formed i don't know i really don't know but i do believe that there are areas on the planet where people can experience more high strangeness than in other places and that high strangeness isn't isn't so much um out of this world uh, sort of, um, you know, beyond the norm. It is the norm, and that yeah. that is already there, happening all the time, and that we're just not interacting with it because we're not in these areas, or we're not in a certain location at a certain time where the events are correct for us to have that experience. So I do think that when we look at things like uh, free will and destiny and and all that, I think that everything that we talk about in that category is all kind of uh kind of together and so it's 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 a one it's a whole sort of one thing where we're just experiencing uh, a little bit of everything at a time and that we say oh i saw a ghost uh well it's you know if you were in the right place and you stayed there you'd see a lot more uh or mm-hmm. i had this experience or i read the future um, you know, I think everyone is different and everyone has a certain ability within them to experience certain things. But if you don't have that switch, as we spoke about before, everyone gets to a certain age and you sort of there's a switch in you and it either clicks on or it doesn't click on. And if it clicks on, you become 
more interested about everything about the world mm-hmm. and about uh, the the nature of everything and you start to learn you start to read books you start to watch documentaries or, or you go on your own little missions to to learn things and and go on your, your your paranormal hunts and that or you can have the other aspect where that the switch doesn't click for whatever reason and you none of that interests you and you just carry on with life on the treadmill doing your thing and then you you know you expire so I, I think that, you know, we have all got the ability to, um, yeah. uh, you know, do this. But whether we choose to do it or not, I think is, is entirely an, an individual thing. But then again, <laughs> when going back to what we were just talking about, <laughs> where did I make that choice? Yeah, or was uh, it already there? Right, exactly. Yeah. Are you choosing? Yeah. yeah, for sure. You were going to say something, Justin? Uh, I was going to say that, I mean, the purpose is really just for experience, you know, although it may be predetermined today's the first day we ever lived you know in a sense uh, yesterday was the first day that we had yesterday you know so it's still new and probable in that sense but yeah there's a total possibility that whatever i was going to do today was already rewritten but i didn't know that i'm just experiencing life you know and sometimes you just got to take these things day by day when it comes to depression or even anxiety at that time you got to control those small things and that's really what it is, is, if anything, we have the momentary free will day by day or minute by minute, you know. And as that goes, it becomes something that is written in the story. But at that point, before that thought is happening, it's free will. It really is free will one way or another. Even if we have that huge guy in the sky already written it out for us. <laughs> and that's, where, that's yeah. where you take it and just say, yes, you know, I got to take this day by day and understand that.